Hi crocheters of the world, in this tutorial I will show you how to crochet this necklace and it's so easy to make actually because all that you need are beads and you can actually here I used uh, lots of bits that I leftovers I can say so recycled bits from uh, old necklaces and so on so actually what I have in um, leftovers and in, in my um, I don't know here uh, my boxes where I keep my um, my bits I, I take all mixed them up and uh, came out uh, came up with this now uh, this is the the mixture of uh, bits it's put on a base on a foundation on on a necklace on a cord and the cord it's worked with the 3d romanian uh, cord macrame cord and you already have the tutorial of this beautiful uh, cord look at it it's really lovely and it's so easy to work so with these two um, things <laughs> and of course you need a clasp now with these two things you are ready to work your necklace but what this is here what is here important is the cord that I use or the yarn that I used to make the necklace because <coughs> sorry it's the yarn this one so as you can see, uh, it has a um, metal core here and it's coated with uh, viscose, I think. So it's really a nice yarn. It's a uh, jewelry yarn, you know, the yarns that I all uh, already, mm, I, I'm using uh, for sometimes to make my, uh, jewelry and it's from filia forma you have the uh, website shop online actually where you can buy them below this tutorial and actually somewhere in the tutorial the name of uh, this beautiful yarn for jewelry is darin and uh, this is what you need it comes in so many colors i have here these two and uh, this one, um, this, so lots of colors, beautiful colors. And I will use for the pearls, so for the beads, sorry, uh, now I will use this. So again, as you can see, I just made a mixture with all that I had, um, with, with all that I found actually on my, so I have, as you can see, it's and it's nice. I don't know, it's like a free form. You know, put them all together. Just be sure that the color fits uh, each other and will be just perfect. And I will use for the beads uh, this dragon. Uh, yarn is just perfect to work with beads it's very thin and all the bits all kind of bits with large or small hole uh, can pass through and you can work them okay now let us begin and of course we need a clasp now let us begin first of all i will put on my bits <laughs> i really adore this and then i will work my uh, cord to work the cord, as I said, now let me just show you how you have to do it. To, have, uh, to work the cord, actually, I said I have the tutorial, but uh, I will show you here a little bit. So I am using for this yarn a 3.5 millimeter hook. Leave a nice and long tail on one side and you have to leave a nice and long tail on the other side too. So I will chain three, that's one, two, and three. Now insert took into the second chain from the hook and work, oops, work one single crochet and into the next work one more. 
and this is how it will begin. Watch the tutorial where I explain actually because here with this kind of chord it's a little bit, um, let's say, um, difficult to follow actually uh, the, the way I'm working. Now here into this loop that I have I will insert hook and work my third I can say single crochet and now I am ready to proceed and I will work into these two loops now of course as I said watch that tutorial because it's easier to understand and now I insert my hook into these two it's a little bit difficult to begin the chord but afterwards will be just easy. Okay, and now I just continue on working in these two loops. Keep it like this, and these two, and so on. Now it's very clear after two or three rounds, it's clear where you have to insert your hook to work the next stitch. So we kind of work vertically, as you can see. Always insert hook through two loops. Sorry, it's these two. So always two loops, okay? It's very important. And we now continue on like this for the circumference of our neck. That's all. It's actually us to decide. The length that we want. So look at it. It's it's pretty. It's it's really fancy, and so easy. Okay, so I will continue on with my chord. So I have my uh, 3D chord ready, and I want to put the clasp. So to put the clasp, it's pretty easy. It's really easy. We will take a will. We worked with 3.5 millimeters hook, so we will take a 3 millimeters hook and we will try to first of all, I will go through some. Like this. Okay. Let's say I just want to go here to just let's say to prepare the. Okay. And now I will take one of the two, I will put it on. Go. Like this. And now what we have to do is to insert the hook and to pull, which is not very easy because we have here its wire, so okay. And now I will just continue on and go with my yarn to wave it in with really nice and tight. I have to do it, okay? Just think like this, okay? Of course, be sure you won't damage your nice cord, so the design. Here I can also make a nice knot like this, okay, and I am just go on trying to secure and 
and for the cord that would be all of course you can use any kind of clasp if you don't like this you can use other kind just want to show you so I just continue on until I won't have a cord anymore just to be sure that it's nice and in place, stand in place. Now, last but not least, because this is the most important part, uh, I have all my bits here. And I will begin to chain them. About 80 centimeters I have. And leave a longer tail here too. We can also put like this and chain through make the little knot, chain one more and now here these little bits I will take them so chain them all three together and chain one so the large bits I chained them as they are one by one and the small bits which are six Oh, bit or uh, four millimeters bits. I want to chain them three together, okay? But chain one chain bit and one normal chain. So chain with bit and chain normal chain. And again, one chain with bit. Oops. And one normal chain. Now I have three. These are four millimeters bits. I want to chain them together. And one normal chain and so on. Chain. Chain with bit. And chain without. I have my three together. And chain. Chain with bit and chain without. And I take some more. I just continue on like this. I just love to work them, to chain them like this. I don't know, it's so relaxing. I have my three together now again and chain one. Chain. Chain. And so on. Until the last these are three together, chain, and until the last it's already worked. We'll just work them all. Some more. Do I chain? I don't know. Did I chain? Sorry, I don't know. Chain. Just want to show you how to try them on your so try if you have enough, okay? And just go on. This is what I have, and this is what I. Um, uh, this is how I will continue on, and then when you have some already worked, you just want to put them around your cord, and just think like this. You have you need sorry two markers. markers let's say I want it to be like this on this part in the middle so I will put one here one marker here and one on the other side more or less 
the same level, okay? And this is where I want to put them. So, if you want more, less, it's you to decide, okay? And I will continue on a little bit more and then I will just go on and try them. I will show you. So I just work a little bit, as you can see. And now I want to uh, try them and how to do this. So I will put from where I began, like this. I can put them here on one side with the marker. And I will just go on and wrap them around my necklace. So around my like this. Okay, just to try if I have enough or I don't have enough. Okay, put them like this. And if you think, so if you have enough, like this, okay, you can stop chaining them, so crochet them, okay, like this. I will continue on, and if you don't, you just continue on and work them all. It's nice to be um, a lot of them, okay, so just work them. Because this is the idea. Okay, I will continue on and then I will show you at the end how to put them all and how to uh, make them, uh, block them in place. So now let me show you. I have some here and now I can begin to uh, put them around, so to roll them. So take the, um, the end. And keep it with your finger like this, then go and wrap. And we will just wrap over the tail, okay? Just go on now and wrap over the tail. I will wrap all that I have here and if I need more, I will put some more. Okay. So easy. Look at it. Isn't it just lovely? You can work it with so many beautiful colors color combination okay. and I will just I am just wrapping and wrapping and wrapping nice and close okay so I wrapped almost all and I have to crochet some so I will just crochet all of them and if they are not enough, I will show you how to put some more and this is really, really easy. So, it happened, uh, I uh, ran out actually of uh, bits, not of bits, but of bits that I uh, crocheted, so this is all that I had. And what I have to do is to string more bits, to crochet them and continue on for this little piece. First of all, I want to block this in place, so I just went on a little bit, and I'm going on actually a little bit, in here with the, with the needle to block them. Like this, oops, 
and then I will show you how to continue on with another little okay the important thing is they are nice blocked uh, this is the tail of the beginning so I can cut actually it and let me put some more bits and then I will show you how to uh, join actually here so here I am back with my little piece here hope it will be okay now what uh, how to uh, join actually I will just wrap the yarn around some bits here okay wrap around this one okay you can you can use the needle to make some stitches instead of wrapping but I think it's easier and now I will put it here and I will wrap my beads over it as we did before and like this I will complete my remaining uh, part here so my necklace is finally finished look at this isn't it just beautiful and it's so easy to make so uh, some beads you need some beads that you uh, have from old necklace or recycled beads and this beautiful yarn and you are ready to make a lovely jewelry I changed color on this one too I actually didn't like that uh, um, brown dark brown I don't know cognac actually it was and this is it so I have my two necklaces uh, thank you for watching thank you for following me in this tutorial in this uh, crochet a uh, jewelry crochet adventure uh, please subscribe so you won't miss another video of mine follow me on Facebook and on Instagram too see you at the next tutorial bye bye